Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to start a series of lecture for Proctual Sister Qualifications. So basically, these are three qualifications uh, which are now mandatory for assessor. So he can choose anyone and he has to complete if he want. Uh, if he wants to become an assessor. So three qualifications are, uh, the first one is level three award in assessing competence in the work environment. And the second one is level three award in assessing vocationally related achievement. The third qualification is certificate level qualification, which is level three certificate in assessing vocational achievements. So uh, first of all, uh, I just want to let you know that what is the purpose of these qualifications and this series of lecture will help uh, to, do, uh, to those people who are interested to become uh, to become assessors and as well as the assessors who are working who are already working, uh, as an assessor, it will equally help them. So before moving forward in this lecture, in this discussion, uh, it will be only introduction. So in this introduction, I will let you know about the qualification structure of these qualifications and their assessment criteria and their uh, guided learning hours and other uh, requirements for these qualifications. And in the upcoming three lectures, I will complete all the uh, units of the of these qualifications. So uh, the better thing, we will start from here and uh, uh, I will move forward one by one. So first thing is that these are Procol Assessor qualifications. Uh, basically, Procol is awarding body and uh, the regulator for these qualifications is OFQL. So these qualifications are OFQL regulated because if someone wants to become an assessor, uh, the OFQL regulated uh, assessment qualifications are mandatory for them. So here we have proper assessor qualifications. These are three qualifications. Uh, firstly, now, because mostly the organizations are running off your regulated qualifications. To assess those qualifications, uh, the competency required for being an, I, uh, being an assessor is any assessment qualification. Nowadays, uh, we, uh, nowadays, we are having a trend, or uh, we are having a era uh, where these OFCO regulated qualifications are most popular. So, whatever the awarding body and uh, uh, where where it is, and if it's OFCO regulated body, then the need that the sh the centers should have assessors who are competent enough to assess the uh, coursework to assess the learners. Uh, who is actually who is learner? For example, if you are having any qualifications where you have to teach someone, uh, that's the that guy or that person who used to teach people, uh, we call him a teacher, trainer, or, or, or a tutor. But here, when we have to assess workers' competence with regard to the activities they have performed at their workplaces, then the, that guy is an assessor who is actually evaluating, assessing the knowledge of learners or assessing the knowledge of candidates there. So that's the reason why these qualifications are getting popularity nowadays. So as I have told you earlier in the very uh, start that 
these my these lectures for the series for proper assessor qualifications uh it will be beneficial for both the new uh participants who has just started these qualifications and even the assessors who are new or who are doing uh, assessment for any center uh, it will be beneficial for both type of people so proper assessor qualifications there are three the first one is level 3 award in assessing competence in the work environment okay so basically this qualification names as shows that this is actually specified for compared to assess competence in the work environment like people or candidates or learner are doing something uh, at their workplaces and you have to assess them you have to assess their competence then you have to enroll in this qualification then level 3 award in assessing vocationally related achievement as you know that there are some qualifications specially named with nvq so for those qualification because they that, that framework is a uh, national vocational qualification framework in that we need a person a assessor who should have knowledge of assessing vocational related achievement then the last one level 3 cover certificate in assessing vocational achievement so basically uh, these are all these three can be used for assessment uh, assessment purpose and anyone can uh, do that but here uh, we will move forward and we will see what's the difference between these one actually these uh, proper qualifications are assessment qualifications uh consist of three as a whole consist of three units but in different combinations okay so but it will be in different combinations how for example for example starting from the first one if we discuss about the level 3 award in assessing level 3 award in assessing competence in the work environment then what happened that the first two units understanding the principles and practice of assessment and assess occupational competence in the work environment uh, will be the units for that qualification for avr for the second one then we have unit d6015314 and d uh, and f6015319 these two units uh, for that one for certificate level qualification uh these three units all these three units are present there uh, in the structure of that qualification so getting it so discussing it in more detail so this is the structure for the first qualification it's level 3 award in assessing competence in the work environment so here we have candidate must complete two mandatory units okay so what are the units these are d6015313 it's unit reference number unit title is understanding the principles and practice of assessment unit level is 3 and guided learning hours are 24 and then the second unit h6016514 assess occupational competence in the work environment unit level 3 and guided learning hours 30 so uh, other information which we can add here basically it's a nine credit uh duration qualification so actually the actual time for this qualification is 90 hours out of 90 hours because here it's mentioned 24 guided learning hours and 30 guided learning hours so the guided learning hours for this qualification is 54 hours okay so total time for this qualification is 90 hours so these are the two mandatory units are there no optional unit is in it so moving forward now we have level 3 award in 
accessing vocationally related achievement. So this is the second uh, qualification with regard to assessment qualification. Candidate must complete two mandatory units, the D6015313. This is the unit which is common in all three qualifications when the first one, understanding the principles and practice of assessment, unit level three, uh, guided learning hours 24, and then the second F601-5319, assess vocational skills, knowledge, and understanding. This unit is changed. The second unit for both of these level three awards is different. Unit level three and guided learning hours are 30. So again, the complete qualification time is nine credits uh, along with, if we elaborate it, uh, 54 guided learning hours and 90 uh, total uh, qualification time, 90 hours, okay? Do remember 90 hours and nine credits. So moving forward, here we have, uh, uh, you can say, in regard to assessment qualification, it is the uh, uh, the um, biggest qualification with regard to assessment here. So it is, uh, there are three units, mandatory units, D6015313, understanding the principles and practice of assessment, uh, unit level three, guided learning hours 24, and 8 slash 6015314, assess occupational competence in the work environment, unit level three, guided learning hours 30. And then we have F slash 601 slash 5319, assess vocational skills, knowledge, and understanding, unit level three, guided learning hours 30. So the complete qualification time is 15 credits for this qualification. And the guided learning hours are 84 hours. And the total time for this qualification in hours is 150 hours. Okay. So what we will do that this is the introduction of these qualifications. What is the structure? Uh, how much credit hours are there? How much uh, guided learning hours are there? What is the total qualification time? So everything was there. So in the upcoming lectures for these assessor uh, assess qualifications, I will discuss one by one each unit. Like I will complete that uh, all these three units in three different lectures. So what happened? Once I will complete uh, lectures for these three units, then your uh, then it will co cover all the three qualifications. And, and it will help the cause. So I hope it will work for you because now it's, uh, it, it is a uh, demand in the market. And secondly, people are not uh, aware of this qualification and people are not well, uh, uh, you can say, uh, they are not uh, able actually to complete these qualifications easily. So I, I'm trying my best to give you a detailed knowledge on these assessor qualifications. So thank you very much for uh, this lecture and hope hopefully uh, we will meet in some other in some other lecture uh, very soon. So thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, thanks for your time. Goodbye.